Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheets. Today we continue our course on Query and today we're going to see our third class, which is Order By. We're going to learn how to sort in an ascending or descending order by any column or even by several columns. And we're going to start mix it up with the ones we've already seen, select and where. So I know you love it, but first let me invite you to subscribe to the channel or go one step further and subscribe to my Patreon page where you can have all the templates and all the codes of the videos in the channel. And on top of that, you'll have the videos one week earlier than everyone else. So let's start. Actually, I'll, I should leave you, if you've been following the course, you by now already know how to do a query. So what I want to do for now is I want to order my data as it is without any other filter. I'm just going to order it by date. So let's start. I'm going to type query, open parentheses, and I'm going to select all this data up to, let me see, J. I can leave it open to J. That's it. I'm going to hit semicolon and then we're going to start. Remember, we could start with select. We could start with where. Let. What do you think if we start directly with order by? Do you think it's going to work or not? The order by is the clause we're going to see today that sorts by any column you want from my data source A1J. Let's say we want to order by, I told you date, so we're going to order by date. That is the column D. We're going to close my quotation marks, close our parentheses, hit enter, and let's see what happens. So it is ordering with some caveats. For now, let's remove the format so we don't see this very crazy thing. I'm going to clear the formatting. Actually, I'm going to better yet, I'm going to copy this query function. I'm going to create a new tab, paste it here. And now we don't have this problem with the date and everything. It works fine. And apparently it's ordering. So it's 21 June, then 23 June, July. So it's working great. Okay. With two problems. The first problem is that here I have two empty lines. The reason, let me delete this tab, is that if I go here, down here, I can see two empty lines. If I put, let's say, another 10 empty lines, then I'm going to see other 10 empty lines. So we're, we're going to get there. For now, let's look at our query and let's analyze a bit the order by. There's actually not much to analyze. I just put order by and I say, and I tell him the column. So first thing about order by, we don't need to have the select or the where clauses before. If we only want to order, then we just need to use the order by. The second thing is that you can see here, we are not telling it to go on ascending order or descending order because by default, order by goes with ascending, but we could force it. We could say ASC, that means ascending, and it will order by ascending. Or we can change this and put DESC, which stands for descending, and hit enter. And now we're looking at our dates from higher to lower. And now we don't have the problem of this empty because this empty for Google Sheets, these empty sheets are like number zero. So number zero will be, if, if I go on ascending, they will be the first. So again, I'm going to change it to ascending. So it's saying, oh, this is number in here in date. This is zero, zero, zero. So this will go first. But if I go from descending, given that it's zero, so they will go last. Okay. So this is the first thing. Second thing I could order by other columns at the same time. So here I'm, I'm ordering by descending by D, but I could order by A, by B, by C, by here. Let, let's change this to C descending. And I have it by last name. Uh, from Z to A, and I could change it to amount, to email, to whatever I want, okay? So this is the first thing. We could order by any of the columns. Second thing is that I could order by various columns. So let's say, first, 
I want to order by by the quantity. So quantity is, is j. So first I want to order by j descending. Okay, so I have it here. But I have a lot of tens. So maybe in my quantity I could order by another thing. So inside my quantity I want to order by amount. Let's say ascending. So I could give it an other condition. So I'm just going to put comma and then let's say amount is f and f will be ascending asc so here i can see so first i order by quantity and then i'm ordering by amount in an ascending order okay so this is the second thing the first thing is that i could select any column i want the second thing is that i could order by ascending or descending the third thing is that i could have multiple conditions for ascending or descending the final thing i want to show you today is that is how now I mix it with the other clauses with where we select. For example, I just want, I'm going to order by J descending and F ascending, but I don't want to show all the columns. Let's say I want to ID, I don't want, I just want a first name, B, date, D, and take into account that I don't need to show the columns that I'm ordering by. So even if I order by J, I don't need to show J. So for example, I'm not going to show the quantity, even though I'm ordering by quantity. So I'm just going to show, let's say here, I'm going to show with the select, I'm going to show B, I'm going to show D, I'm going to show E, amount and country, whatever. Let's hit enter. And there you can see, even though I'm ordering by J first, that is the, the quantity, I'm not showing the quantity, okay? The other thing I want you to take into account is that the clauses have some order. So even though I can use order by without select, when I use it with select, select has to be before the order by. If I cut this and put it after the order by, I'm going to have an error. Okay? So select always needs to go before order by. And I can start do the combinations I want. Remember in lesson number one, I show you that you could hide any column you want and you can change the orders of the columns. So then now you can have a lot of combinations possible. And if I add where things start to get really, really crazy because I could start do whatever I want and I can, we can start to unlock the full potential of query. Let's say for example, that I want where my column, this is amount, amount I think is F, where F is greater than one, for example. Okay. So now I'm not showing 0 0.1, 0 0.5, because I just want the amount that is higher than one. And so now you can start to see the order of the clauses in the, in the query. So first is select, then is where, then is order by. Okay. But I want to show you something first. J descent, remember where we have, when we had J ascending and now I can, well, now that I had this F1, I don't have this problem, but let, let's remove this F1. Remember that at the beginning of the video, we had this problem where I had the ascending, given that my query data was open up to the last row, it has the problem or the, um, the side effect that it can bring empty rows. So there are a couple of ways to, to bypass this. The first one and the most used is we're going to use a where condition. And in any of the columns, let's say the A column, we're going to say that A, that A is not null. So let's, this will help me remove the empty rows. So you can see here that we are not doing any weird condition, any specific condition that is greater than one, that is equal to a value. No, we're just saying that it has a value that is not null. So this is a command that comes with query and is not null. Okay. And if we hit enter, then we remove automatically these empty spaces. And if I put a is null, it will bring just the empty ones. Okay. Maybe you will never need that, but just of fact to know. So now we started with just order by, but now we've mixed it up with select with where, and we are taking our query to the next level. 
So now we know that we can select any column we want, that we can filter by one or more conditions, and that we can order by one or more columns in an ascending or a descending order. Okay, so this is it. We are starting to get more and more deep and more and more knowledgeable with our query, and there's a lot more to go. Even if you don't believe me, query has much, much more things to offer that we'll see in further lessons. So I hope you like it. And as always, if you like it, you can subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my Patreon page where you'll find the formulas and the codes that you can copy and paste easily. Thank you so much. See you next time.